Have Fun, Molly Lou Mellon, written by Patty Lavelle and illustrated by David Catrell. I love this. She's so cute. Molly Lou Mellon's toy chest overflowed with those whoozy what's it's of all shapes and sizes. Her grandma had told her back in the olden days, I didn't have fancy dolls or action figures. I made them out of twigs, leaves, and flowers like hollyhocks and daisies. So she did just that. Molly Lou Mellon's backyard had a big weeping willow and a crumbly rock walls with thingamajigs peeking out from every crevice. Her grandma had told her back in the olden days, I didn't have a store-bought dollhouse. I made one in my backyard. And so she did just that. So cute. Molly Lou Mellon's garage was full of colorful boxes and crates. Her grandma had told her, back in the olden days, I didn't have a race car. I sat in a cardboard box and sped down the hill. I did that when I was a little girl too. So she did just that. Ooh, all the creative ways. Molly Lou Mellon lay on her back in the tall willowy grass. Her grandma had told her back in the olden days, I didn't have a television. I watched the clouds that floated by and I saw lots of things in them. So she did just that. That's one of my favorite things to do. One day, new neighbors moved in next door. Molly Lou Mellon went to welcome the, their little girl. She heard Gertie say to her mom, I'm bored, bored, bored. Molly Lou Mellon invited Gertie over to play. On Monday, Gertie brought over her Darling Darla Deluxe Dollhouse, complete with an electric mixer and working chandeliers. Molly Lou Mellon showed Gertie her tree root palace, complete with acorn cap dinner plates, woven leaf air conditioning system, and Sakita jacuzzi. Gertie was amazed. So cool. On Tuesday, Gertie drove over in her battery-operated, fully loaded Coupe de Ville. Look out below, Molly Lou Mellon screamed right before hurtling down the hill in her tur turbo boxcar, hand-painted with orange and red flames. Gertie was amazed. On Wednesday, Gertie was going to call Molly Lou Mellon on her cell phone, but she'd heard a strange sound coming from an old tin can that was dangling in her window. This is the operator. Will you accept a call from me, Molly Lou Mellon? Y -y yes, Gertie spoke into the can. Great, come on over. Click. Gertie was amazed. On Thursday, Gertie asked Molly Lou Mellon if she'd like to come over and watch cartoons on her big screen TV. It's 120 inches wide. Molly Lou Mellon said, not today, thanks. I'm going to go watch the clouds. They're sky wide. Gertie was amazed. On Friday, Gertie brought over a handmade doll with a frilly hollyhock skirt and violets for hair. It's for your palace, she said, and Molly Lou Mellon was amazed. On Friday evening, Molly Lou Mellon and Gertie were tired, tired, tired from playing all week. They lay down in the tall, willowy grass, looking up at the clouds. I see a butterfly, Gertie giggled, and a penguin and a refrigerator. Refrigerator, penguin, red, good. Or a butterfly story, yeah, butterfly here. I almost see like a little bear curled up in here, it looks like to me. Or a little bunny sleeping or something. Molly Lou Mellon opened her eyes wide and grinned her biggest grin. I see a grandma-shaped cloud winking at me and Molly Lou Mellon winked right back. Have fun, Molly Lou Mellon. I hope you enjoyed the story and maybe you can come up with some creative things for a STEM challenge. Thank you.